Hi guys, this is Shumon from AAC Technical. Today I am going to show you how to add PCIe NVMe SSD driver to an offline Windows 7 image. Before starting this video, let me tell you, Microsoft will stop supporting Windows 7 from January 14, 2020. You can read the detailed information about that from Windows 7 official support page. However, I make this video only for those people who just prefer to use Windows 7 alongside Windows 10. And one more very important thing. If you have a new generation computer and your computer's Thunderbolt port doesn't recognize by Windows PE, then this tutorial will definitely help to solve this problem. Well, let's get started. Okay, at first you will need a Windows 7 ISO image file. Refuse to create a bootable USB drive and you need to download Windows USB installation tool. At first, go to Gigabyte Global Support page. Next, Product Support. Next, Motherboard. Now click on Download. Next, Utility. Now type the keyword. Windows USB installation tool and search. Ok, now you need to download this tool according to your chipset manufacturer for Intel or AMD. Ok, I just download this according to my chipset manufacturer Intel. Alright, now insert an empty USB flash drive. Note, the USB drive must be at least 8GB of capacity. Here I am using my Thunderbolt 3 USB drive. Now launch the Rufus. Next, select your USB flash drive. Next, select the Windows 7.iso image file and click on open. Next, select standard Windows installation. Next, select partition style MBR and target system type BIOS, I mean legacy. Note. If you want to install Windows 7 in UFI, then here's a certain tutorial for you. However, now click on start and OK. Now wait until it's completed. Alright, now click on close. Ok, now extract this Windows USB installation tool .zip file. Now launch the Windows USB installation tool.
Now click on this drop down arrow to select your created Windows 7 installation media. Now check this 3 checkbox to add USB, NVMe and some necessary driver packages to your Windows 7 installation media and make sure your PC is connected to the internet. Now click on start. Now be patient and do nothing until the driver installation process is completed. This might take several minutes so I just fast forward this boring part. Okay, now it is completed, just click on close. Now this Windows 7 installation media is ready to install Windows 7 on your NVMe SSD. And also this procedure helps to fix device driver is missing related issues during installation of Windows 7. We hope you will like. Of course, let us know your opinion. If you have any questions, then please let us know. Please like, comment, share. We need your support. And guys, please don't forget to subscribe our channel. Thank you. Thanks for watching. Have a nice day.